Hi guys. Um, I wanted to do a, a thing on Odyssey. Uh, I've talked about it in the past. I think Odyssey is a very, very worthwhile uh, option to have. Um, even better as far as subwoofers are concerned, there are um, act there's actual subwoofer management software and all that stuff. And that, that's another video. Um, but I wanted to point out uh, some things when you're using Odyssey. And one of those things is don't ever trust it fully. And what I mean by that is that when I was going through this whole process again and, and getting everything set up to where I wanted it, um, and I plugged in the Odyssey and, and went through all the, um, you know, amidst the sounds out of each speaker and whatnot, um, I went and listened to it after uh, some tracks I knew and was familiar with and tracks I knew how they'd perform in the big sub. And um, I was just like, uh-oh, <laughs> did I make a mistake here? Uh, because it wasn't sounding right. And it wasn't the fault of the subs. Uh, let me just point that out. Um, what it was, was when I was, uh, I went through and I'm like, this just doesn't sound right. I had to, you know, normally I listen like right around, you know, between uh, 45 and, and 60 in terms of volume level. And I was having to find myself turning it all the way up to like 62. I'm like, what's going on here? Um, and just a few other little things. And the Odyssey had adjusted some speakers way down. Um, it had, you know, moved my crossovers to a point where I didn't want it. Really, you know, I keep going back and forth as far as where I like it between 90 and, and 110. I think 90 is the preferred um, crossover setting for all the speakers. And you can even adjust them individually. Uh, but that's my per particular setup. But I just wanted to point out that when you're doing your Odyssey setup, um, go back through and make sure the levels sound right to you. Run a test tone. See if it's if the test tones sound even to you. They may not. Um, and you know, check the speaker distances. See if that looks right. Um, sometimes, you know, the speaker distances don't look right, and you have to adjust them. It's not all the time, um, but it was just this particular time when I did it. I noticed things were just kind of cattywampus. So. Um, you know, after you go through your Odyssey, check the levels, make sure it sounds right. You may find that, oh my gosh, this is way down or this is way up or whatever. Uh, another point I will make uh, with Odyssey is that you want, at least with Denon, um, I, I don't ever want to use dynamic volume control. Uh, I had that on when I first got this, the amplifier. And what I noticed was, was whether you turn it up or turn it down, you kind of got the same, I don't know, it, the volume, it, it was just kind of weird. I didn't like it. Um, it also left me with a lot of ear fatigue, uh, which I don't have when I turn the dynamic volume off. So, um, you know, that's, that's another point to it. But I just want to throw that in about Odyssey because I was really surprised, you know, up to this point I've had a pretty good experience with it, but it just happened to just kind of throw my levels all over the place. Um, and so I, I just want to point that out. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe for more like this. Thanks.